at a quarterback, what went into that decision? Well, I mean, I think the question's been since we ended last season, right, how do we improve our offense? And that starts with improving quarterback play. And I think that's really been the mainstay and the question we tried to answer. Um, I think the competition that was brought into that room, right, competition's a fundamental for us. Competition played true to make that room better as a whole. That's both Grant and Kyron. Grant right now, at this point in time, has solidified himself as a starter, and we feel very confident with that, but that's at this point in time. Um, I think both of them have, have gone a long way to improve, which will make our offense better, and both are going to help us win football games. Coach Brown said earlier he expects Kyron to play every game. Uh, that's tough sometimes to get a second quarterback into the game, or the, a delicate band sometimes. How, how do you plan to do that, or how, what, what is your approach in uh, trying to get both those guys on the field at some point? Well, no, number one, I think he, he's earned it through the competition, right? I mean, the, the whole thing, you're going to hear me say the theme of competition and what's helped our offense improve, and it's really both of them. Um, it's, it's not really um, a knock on Kyron to not be the starter. I think both of them have improved throughout the whole process. So Grant, right now, he's rolling out and he's a starter. We're going to work our tail off to make sure Kyron not only has plays we feel comfortable with, but Kyron can operate our entire offense. And I think that's what can make him very lethal when he comes into a game. So when he plays... You're not looking at a guy that's just a package quarterback. He's a guy that can offense the entire, uh, operate the entire offense. Coach Brown was talking about the ways that Grant has grown as a leader in the last year. And what ways have you seen that out of him? Yeah, I think communication, number one. Uh, I watch his interactions uh, with myself, with the coaching staff, but then most importantly, his teammates. Um, just how he's been able to take a hold of guys. I watch him in sideline huddles. I watch his enthusiasm on the field. And I think just another year being here, he's, 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 he's more comfortable. He's more himself. Um, and I think that that's, that showed out in our practices and what he's been able to do in the locker room. Is there something with these new receivers that you brought in that should help him along, just having more options in that that, that brings out his sort of passing game? Well, we sure hope so. We're excited about our, our receiving core and, and the skill around them. Those guys have, have worked their tail off, and I think this all started in the summer with Grant, with Kyron, and all the work that we've put in this offseason to try to get this passing game going. We talked a lot in the spring about yards per attempt, trying to stretch the field. We've got to be better in that area, and I think the work that's, that's going in this offseason has gone a long way to lend you to believe it'll be better. How much better is the offensive line in terms of what you want schematically to make sure if Grant's got the time in the pocket? Yeah, well, I think, you, you know, you guys are going to laugh at me. I say this every time. I think that started with just really detailing our run game. Um, I feel very confident we have an identity and how we want to run the ball. That's not just one scheme, but it's schemes that fit our guys that we think can make them successful. So with that, hopefully you're getting yourself into better situations from a pass standpoint, right? And we've gone a long way. I think the other thing that, that plays in, you know, when you talk about last year and what we've worked on this year is just the discipline within our unit. Uh, we can't put ourselves behind the sticks early. We can't be in first and 15s and second and longs quite as much. We've got to be able to stay ahead of the sticks. That's going to allow those guys to play better and protect better, and it starts with the discipline piece. Coach Pry mentioned that he saw some, some things from Wells on Saturday in the scrimmage that kind of caught his eye. What what did you notice? What did you think about his performance on, on Saturday? I think just operation and, and command of, of everything we're doing, um, the way he's making checks, the way he's communicating, um, he just seemed in total control, which he's done that you know, all fall. I think the, the big thing to know is with both of those guys, I mean, we've made this competition tough. I mean, they've, they've cycled in and out with the ones and twos all fall camp. That's not an easy thing to do. Uh, they both had great attitudes about it. But just his command on Saturday in the scrimmage, I thought, I thought showed through. What have you seen some of those tight ends? Brent mentioned that Nick Gallo's a little banged up. What have you seen from some of those younger guys like Daquan Wright, Benji Gosnell, and how confident would you feel about throwing those guys out there if Gallo missed some time? feel very confident about both of the guys you just mentioned, uh, Harrison St. Germain as well uh, coming in. That's a that's a deep room as far as when you look at depth and guys that we feel like we could count on playing. I think when you look at Benji and Daquan, just the athleticism that they bring to that position, um, which is something that we obviously want. They're an integral part of what we do, both touch passes and down the field passes. So I think both of those guys are able to bring that element to the offense. Your, this is your second fall camp now. I think I almost wrap it up. Did you approach this one differently at all? How do you feel like you you might be a different offensive coordinator in a different mindset now than you might have been in your first year last year? Yeah, I think just going into year two, I, I love the staff uh, that we have. I think our staff, we're very cohesive. Uh, we see everything the same way. I, I'd say that's been the biggest um, 
the, the biggest thing this spring is just getting on the same page with everyone. I think we've done that. I think we have an identity. I feel good about the leadership in our locker room and what the players have put forth and, and the work we've done. So I'm excited to get started with the season. And some of your early prep for ODU, what stands out to you about what they bring defensively? Yeah, they, they can bring a variety uh, of different looks, uh, both coverage and front, um, little oddities and how they align. So we've got a good plan for that. Um, understand that they they can be a mix with their personnel in between three and four down. Um, so they can bring some variety, um, but but overall, um, what we've seen, we feel comfortable with. What gave Bob Schick the edge of that right guard competition? And do you see this as something with some of the younger guys like Brody Meadows is those guys still have a chance to maybe push for that spot throughout the season? I think guys are always pushing, and I think you mentioned a good one, Brody, but Bob, it just, you know, he ended up from spring. You know, th this is the thing I think people don't realize with Bob is since he's been here, he's kind of been a swing guy. So we played him at right tackle. We played him at left tackle. He's been left guard. He's been right guard. So seeing him go through a camp and really get immersed at right guard, I think his consistency just showed through. You watch him get better a little bit every day. He's very cohesive with that group, gels very well, and, and that ultimately uh, is what won out the job. Clayton Crade had the summer internship before he had a chance to get here. Do you feel he's starting to catch up after not being able to participate in your summer workout? I do. I do. Uh, he's starting to show some consistency in the front. He's a guy that can play multiple positions, so we're excited about what he can bring to the offense.